guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today is Friday and you guys know what that means. I'm going to be doing another subscriber requested video. You guys, if you didn't know that, you can use the hashtag Sarah make this video. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook and send me a video submission of a video that you would like to see and I will pick my favorites and I will make those videos every Monday and every Friday. Today's video is going to be all about the German language. I got a few requests for a like German video, like my experience with German, learning German, all that kind of good stuff. So I got a video submission from Matilda and I'll put that in right now. Hello Sarah, I would like to see a video about what you think about the language German and it would be nice to hear you talking in German and what do you think it's hard to learn or why you maybe don't like it or all these things, that would be great. So I guess the best place to start is like my whole experience learning German. So in my senior year of high school, I knew that I was going to go to Switzerland for college. So I started taking like level one German in my senior year. So I was 17 years old and I was in class with a bunch of like 13 and 14 year olds, which obviously the age difference is not that big. But when I was 17, I thought like, wow, I'm with a whole bunch of kids in this German class. And that's where I learned like basic. I mean, I don't even want to say I learned anything because you guys know how it is in high school. I'm sure a lot of you took high school Spanish and you can like hardly say anything in Spanish anymore. So that's kind of how my German class was. I might have learned like to count to 10 and a few colors, but really, really guys, I didn't take much out of that at all. I mean, I was a high schooler. Like do high schoolers really care about what they're learning? I guess some do, depends on the people, but for me, I was all about like getting out of high school. I always liked school, but I was just like, you know, just got to pass. Passing is always easy for me. So I didn't take the class too seriously, but I did learn a little bit of German. So after I graduated high school in 2009, I moved over to Switzerland and yeah, to the German part of Switzerland. And I was like, yeah, I know German. Like I learned how to say like hi and colors and I'm gonna be like just fine over here and boy was I wrong about that <laughs> so for me learning German was much harder than I anticipated probably the young naive 17 year old that thought I could like I don't know do anything um, I had a rude awakening I'll, I'll tell a little like story of my first experience so shortly after I moved to Switzerland I realized that I'm gonna need to get a job because it's very expensive to live here so I walked to a nightclub that was close to my house one day and knocked down the door and said like hi and all in English you know I was like hi I just moved here and I need a job and I have bartending experience which I really didn't and yeah like I would be really good at this job and stuff and I don't know why but for some reason they hired me and I started that weekend and oh my gosh, you guys, it was kind of a disaster. <laughs> so I remember vividly on my first night, you know, I show up, all my coworkers are speaking in English. You know, to me, the owners of the club are speaking in English. Like everybody loved to speak English at this particular bar because they thought it was cool or they liked America or Americans and they just were super happy to speak English with me. So I was really excited until the nightclub opened and all the people started to pour in and talk to me in German, Swiss German actually, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know because they do not actually speak German German in Switzerland. They speak an extremely strong dialect that is more like its own language. So the club opened and people started to pour in and one of the first things I remember is somebody coming up to me and trying to order a beer. Now I didn't know he was trying to order a beer at that time. I had no idea what he was saying. What I know is English, you say beer. German, you say Bier. And in Swiss German, they don't order Bier, they say Stange. <laughs> so the guy comes to the bar and he's like Stange, Stange. And I'm like, what is he saying? I'm going up to my coworkers, like, what is this guy saying? And they're like laughing, they're like, he just wants a beer. I'm like, Stange, like that's not Bier, like I learned in German, like, and I just realized this is going to be like really hard, way harder than I thought. And yeah, sometimes the people were not always that patient and nice at that nightclub. They would start yelling at me. And that is basically how I learned. So a few more examples from that job. English, straw, German, Trinkholm. <laughs> I sound so stupid. <laughs> Swiss German, Rolli. <laughs> I sound so stupid, Matthias is laughing. <laughs> Rolli, I don't know, they don't roll it that much. Rolli, Rolli. I don't even know. Matthias, you say it. Rolli. Yeah. 
it's, it's even hard for me to pronounce it to this day, but at least I can understand it. But basically, you guys hear the difference between Trinkholm and Rilli. I had no idea what I was in for. I didn't know Swiss German. It was so drastically different than regular German. Another fun example, guys. This is going to be a fun video. I remember when somebody came and they were trying to ask for a Kleenex or a tissue. So, English, tissue. German, they would either say Tempo or Taschentuch. Swiss German, Nastuchli. And it's even hard um, when the word isn't even a German word. So what I mean by that, somebody tried to order a Ballantines and Coke. So Ballantines is a type of whiskey, but they don't pronounce it Ballantines, they say Ballantines. And I had no idea what he was saying. And it sounds so silly to me right now because it sounds so similar, but when you're in a nightclub, and this was a loud nightclub, like this was not like a quiet bar, it was a pitch black nightclub with just like the disco lights, and it was extremely loud, you know, there were very loud DJs every night, and somebody's coming to the bar, they're like, Ballantines Mikola, Ballantines Mikola. I'm like, what are they saying? And then I figured out, I'm like, Oh, Ballantines! <laughs> I probably sound so, so stupid. But yeah, you guys, even if the word is not, you know, some weird Swiss German word, you can struggle when you have no clue what people are saying. So yeah, just funny little examples. But you guys, that is literally how I learned German. I got that job. I had many, many nights of people yelling those words at me, like Stange, Nas, Tichli, Rolli. And eventually I started putting things together and I started to learn magically. I have no idea how, but it was really weird the first time when I would all of a sudden just say something in German and I didn't translate it in my head anymore. I just started to say it because I had picked it up somewhere. And the moment that started to happen, I was like, okay, I think this is what it feels like when you can kind of speak another language because you're not translating things in your head anymore and you're not really thinking of the words, you just kind of know them because you've heard it somewhere and you just kind of start to put it together. So I did start feeling that happening, but it took me about two years. But the main issue is because, like I'm trying to explain to you guys, they don't speak German in Switzerland. So I shouldn't say they don't speak German. All Swiss people, they can speak German. They write in German. They go to school in German. All the books are in German. But when they talk to each other, they use their own dialect and that's just how it is. And it's kind of hard for foreigners like me with their little bit of German thinking that they're going to get by and you pretty much have to start completely over. So Matilda was also asking just what I think of the German language and like what did I think about learning it and I'm going to say this part in German for you guys. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Also, Matilda fragt, was ich über die deutsche Sprache denke. Ich finde die deutsche Sprache gar nicht einfach zu lernen. Vor allem in der Schweiz, weil die meisten sprechen gar kein Hochdeutsch, sie sprechen Schweizerdeutsch. Switcherdeutsch. Ich glaube, in Deutschland wäre es viel, viel einfacher für mich, wenn du... <lacht> My mouth hurts, my mouth hurts. <laughs> Let me get these thoughts out, you guys. Wenn du richtiges Deutsch lernen willst, schlage ich vor, nicht in die Schweiz zu kommen. <laughs> Im Moment kann ich Deutsch und Schweizerdeutsch verstehen, aber ich spreche gar nicht gerne. <laughs> gar, gar nicht gerne. Ja, ich, ich denke, meine Aussprache ist gar nicht so klar und auch nicht so schön. <laughs> so yeah, those are all my thoughts. There's my horrible accent. I hope you enjoyed that because I'm probably not going to do that again anytime soon. Like, my mouth, you guys, it's just like, I am like struggling so bad with pronouncing words still. I think even after living four years in Switzerland, I had a really hard time with the pronunciation because it's just one of those things. And I know I pronounce everything wrong anyways because I learned German in Switzerland, so they pronounce everything completely different. So I just kind of feel like, I don't know, at this point, I don't know guys, I don't know. <laughs> but definitely, if you're thinking of moving to a foreign country, I think it doesn't matter what the language is, the hardest part is in the beginning when you're in that new country and you're excited and you don't understand what anyone is saying and you don't understand what is going on and especially if you're in like a social environment. Um, I personally felt like I couldn't show my personality and I still to this day, I think people, they won't see my personality if I'm talking in German or trying to talk in German because I just cannot properly express myself. So. At this point, I'm quite content 
just in my little bit of speaking abilities and understanding people so I can sit you know in a room with people and you know get the jokes and understand what's going on and still have a good time so typically what happens in my life nowadays if I'm in a situation where everybody is speaking German I will respond in English um, so the conversation would kind of be they speak to me in German and I understand and I speak to them in English and they understand and it sounds kind of funny but that is typically how I handle situations where I have to speak German because I don't want to be the butt of the joke, I don't want people laughing at me because I know that's not nice, which you guys, I'm not good at that either. Sometimes I still catch myself laughing at my husband when he makes a mistake and I don't mean it mean at all and I know the other people that would laugh at me, they don't mean it to be mean at all but there's just, yeah, it just, you know, it's not good for your confidence at all. <laughs> but don't let a language barrier keep you from doing anything that you're thinking about doing because you will overcome it eventually. Hopefully you're in a country where they speak the official language, not some strange dialect because that can definitely make it a little bit harder and makes it take like much, much longer to learn. But again, these are all the kinds of things. You can't let them scare you. You can't let them stop you from doing what you want to do in your life. But um, yeah, German guys, German learning in Switzerland. I, I wouldn't say I recommend it, but I wouldn't say don't come to Switzerland because of it. It's just, it's rough. It is really, really rough. Thank you so much, Matilda, for the video request. Um, don't forget to send in your requests. Maybe you will be selected for Monday's video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite language. If you could speak any language, what would it be? I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!